Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Real Horrors of the Internet, a series where I'll be exploring the various corners of the internet, which are often dark, disturbing, and upsetting. Today I will be talking about the tragic downfall of Eugenia Cooney. Let's get into it. Eugenia Cooney, born July 27, 1994, is an American YouTuber and internet personality. She began her online career back in 2011 on a platform called YouNow, which is, you know, basically like Twitch. Shortly after this, she created a YouTube channel, which became hugely successful and popular after she did a video about twerking or something. Okay, ready guys? So first you're gonna lean down, and then you just kind of, then you start shaking. So I see, guys, put your hands on your hips, kind of, like on your leg, like that. And then you start extending your back outwards. Or just do it with your leg. You could do a different style. You could also just kind of go like that, and you go faster or lower. And this is the lower style, and this is the higher style. And then you could also just shake you guys. Ratchet! Thanks. I hate it. Cut to now, and she has over 2 million subscribers on YouTube, 400k on Twitch, and another 2 million on TikTok. Overall, her content consists mostly of videos on fashion, like trying on clothes, makeup, shoes, and of course, petting cute animals, which I approve of. He is so cute! So you can pet him on his uh, forehead, you can pet him on his neck, just not on his mouth, he's still cute. Yeah, we like that here. Eugenia Cooney is known for her particular emo appearance and style, a trend that was really popular back in like the early 2000s, which some people just won't let die, including myself. I'm not okay, I'm not okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all jokes aside, it's time to get to the more serious part of this video, which is her eating disorder. When most people think of Eugenia Cooney, probably one of the first things that comes to mind is her extremely thin frame, which has really gotten worse over time. A lot worse. Now, I know a lot of people say that she looked a lot healthier in the past, like here. Hey guys, it's Eugenia. So today I'm going to be doing a video that's really different than most of my other videos. Today, I'm going to be doing the Ice Bucket Challenge because I was nominated by Jordan Sweeto to do the Ice Bucket Challenge. Which I think is true to a point, but in my opinion, she has always been pretty underweight. Probably to a kind of unhealthy level. I think we look back on these points in time so fondly because of how bad she is now. She really went from being the really skinny girl to looking like she is dying. And I think she probably is dying, to be honest. I don't see how she could have a lot of time left. Now, a lot of people over the years have tried reaching out to Eugenia, trying to convince her to seek help. Uh, but one of the most notable attempts was uh, back in 2019, uh, early of that year, where a group of her friends, led by a YouTuber named Jacqueline Glenn, actually staged an intervention which led her to be put under a 5150 hold in a psychiatric facility. Now, the purpose of a 5150 hold is to determine whether or not the person being evaluated is of sound mind, that they are not gravely disabled, and that they're not a harm to themselves or other people. That said, we don't exactly know what happened when she was held under that 5150, but what we do know, at least according to Eugenia Cooney herself, is that shortly after, she was transferred to a rehab facility where she stayed for a month and worked on her eating disorder. She talked about this a bit in a documentary by the one and only Shane Dawson. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Shane Dawson. The guy that f***s cats. <laughs> the things I've done to my poor animals, they will never love me. Mm. Done terrible things. I used to. Well, <laughs> oh no! I don't know if you want to go there, Shane. What'd you do? <laughs> One time, I laid my cat down on her back. Are you gonna get arrested for this? I don't 
I don't know. No. Think about it. Hmm. I don't think so. Okay, go ahead. I didn't penetrate. <laughs> I laid the cat down on her back I and then I, I, I moved her little chicken legs, like, you know, spread open or whatever. And I was like, if I just like, but like on her tummy, like, that's not weird. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously disgusting. Anyway, even though some of her fans and critics felt like Eugenia was still minimizing the situation a bit in this documentary, she did actually admit to having an eating disorder. It was definitely like an eating disorder, but yeah, they just, I guess they didn't really get too label but no, and you don't, if that makes sense. <laughs> you don't have to put a label down. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Which a lot of people saw as a big step toward recovery, and they were hopeful. Unfortunately, that hope has faded over time, as she appears to have gotten worse and worse. Which leads us to where we are now, where she seems to be back to denying that she even has an eating disorder. I'm sorry, okay? But I need to ask you about this. If you want to talk about it, okay? Okay. Are you sick or, or you choose to not to eat too much or it's because of your family, to your skin, it's... Oh, it's kind of how I am, but I do eat and everything. Huh? Oh no, I do eat and everything. This is just kind of, you know, me. While posting videos like this. So then you guys, the next item is, I have this super, super cute Paragot Girls bikini on. I think that this is such a cute bikini, guys. Like, obviously it's like super perfect for summer and I'm like even happier with this in person, you guys. And this. Mamacita, vamonos de fiesta. And most recently, this. Yeah, it just keeps getting worse and worse, and in my opinion, she's stuck in a rut that she can't get out of. That's what it seems like to me anyway. But, according to some people online, particularly Twitter, they believe that Eugenia is actually pro-anorexia, and she drops hints in a lot of her videos and on social media. One of the alleged signs people often point out are her posts that contain the blue butterfly emoji, which you can see here, and here, and on many of her other social media posts. Now I'm sure you're wondering what relevance a blue butterfly has. And, uh, it's a good question because I didn't know either until I looked it up. But apparently the butterfly, particularly a blue butterfly, has become a symbol of the pro-anorexia community, in which it really became a thing back in 2004 with a website called CeruleanButterfly.com. Now, does this actually mean anything in that her posting an emoji of a blue butterfly means she's dog whistling to an audience of young girls who have eating disorders? No, it doesn't. But given the association and the fact that she continually uses it despite the cries of her critics, it does make you wonder. And even if she isn't dog whistling or dropping hints, you have to ask yourself, does it even matter? Because in the end, she has garnered a pretty big fan base of young girls, often who do have eating disorders. Looking under basically any tweet she posts, you can find things like this, where they're talking about how pretty she is, and then when you click onto their profiles, you will see that they are anorexic, and their followers are anorexic, and there just seems to be this really dark and disturbing trend behind the fan base of Eugenia Cooney. So this really leads me to the end of my video, where I'm not really going to be giving any prescription. I'm not going to be saying what should be done, because I don't know. Instead, I'm going to leave you with some things to think about. Like, should these huge platforms like YouTube and TikTok and Twitter that Eugenia Cooney has a huge fan base on, mostly of young girls by the way, is there ever a time that they should step in? Maybe even cut her off from these platforms? for the betterment of the overall community and the people that look up to her? What about others who are equally bad influences, such as people who are significantly overweight or 
or even do drugs, or any other bad habit or behavior an influencer may have. In the end, I'm personally pro-free speech, I'm anti-deplatforming, I think it's sad what's going on, I feel bad for Eugenia, and I wish she could get help, I wish she could recover, and I feel worried for the people that maybe she is inspiring to lose weight and become unhealthy themselves. In the end, however, the biggest question that comes to my mind is why hasn't anyone in her personal life done anything for her? Yeah, we know her friends tried to do something, but her family? Her mother? Your mom okay watching you wilt away? She's not. My mom lives with me. She knows that I'm fine. I know she eats. She takes good care of herself. Exactly. See? Exactly. She happens to be skinny mini, but she does take Exactly. Skinny mini, We're all different. But she does take How can they just sit by and even participate in the madness she's going through and live with themselves? It really is mind boggling. And lastly, why do so many people tune into her content? Why do they find it entertaining? Watching a woman, a young woman, that should be in the prime of her life, slowly dying on camera. So many questions and thoughts and worries and really no answers, no solution. I guess all we can do now is wait and watch and hope that maybe she'll get better. But I think the chances of that are pretty slim. And the fact is, time is running out. Thank you for tuning in to the first episode of my new series called Real Horrors of the Internet. Now, I just want to say that I don't think Eugenia Cooney is horrifying. I don't think she's a horror. What I do find horrifying, however, is the situation she is in and the fact that she just isn't getting the help she needs. Anyway, thanks again for tuning in and see you soon for more horror games and videos like this. Peace.